Flukin Tyrex Q and A. 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 Hello. Welcome to my channel. This is my boyfriend, Tyrox. People keep asking, they're like, who's that? This is my boyfriend. We've been together for like four years now. Ah! He's Swiss. They were boyfriends. Oh my god, they were boyfriends. This video is sponsored by Surfshark. Check out the link in the description. On to the questions. Today we're going to be answering some questions. What a wonderful idea for a video. Are you ready, Tyrox? I was born ready. Look at Tyrox Q&A. Look at Tyrox Q&A. <laughs> um, we're matching the picture, look. Okay, here we go. If you could choose one console to keep as your primary source of games, which one would you PC. choose? PC! Obviously, people would choose PC, but if you had to choose, like, anything but PC... Nintendo. I'll go with Xbox. It's just kind of a console that I grew up with. What was the most wholesome memory you two ever had together? Yeah. Is that wholesome? The first thing that came to mind is when we were in Switzerland, we were hanging out with my mom's dog and the neighbors, Siberian wolf. Ooh, that was yeah. really cute. That was cute. The second thought that came to my mind was us in a bathtub. Oh yeah. We have a lot of good memories in the bathtub. Moving on, if you weren't a husky and Tyrox wasn't a tiger fox, what other animal would both of you be? I would probably... I think I like the idea of a white shepherd just because we, our family dog is a white shepherd. Ooh, maybe I'll be a dragon. Ooh. I think dragons are, are good like switch energy too. <laughs> I just like dragons. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! I have scissors, and you have paper. No, I have prayer. <laughs> Would you consider playing Adastra by the Echo Project? No. I like that game a lot, but as you have seen, I've tried doing games where like you have to read, and it's just a lot of reading, and you're in fursuit, and you're sweating. But if I was out of fursuit, that'd be something cool to do like for a live stream. Emerus part three! Well, I'm glad you answered this question because I've never even heard of Adastra. Adastra, furry game. Ad Astra fairy game. Oh. You recognize this art? A little bit. He's a he's a very uwu wolf guy. Oh, I remember I really the Anubis. It. Yeah, I think somebody made like animations of these characters. It's something that I'll play by myself, but probably not on a video. A few super random trivial questions for y'all. How do each of you take your caffeine? I do coffee. Tea. Earl Grey usually. Do either of y'all use cologne or perfume? I use a perfume called Musky Husky. Uh, or Elon's Musk, preferably. <laughs> If Elon had a perfume, it would be called Elon's Musk. <laughs> Here's one for both of you. Oh, that's good. Both of us. Yeah, we can be a team. <laughs> team. What do you think is the craziest mochaic moment that you've both been through? Probably in that video where I like we were unwrapping presents and I and I had like the long stick and I was like hitting you. So I was no, no, it's mine. No, it's mine. <laughs> Where'd it go? Hey. What? I can't see. I have no camera. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, that was so much fun. That was a fun video. Yeah, I like that. Have you guys ever thought of adopting a child? No. Next question. We were thinking about adopting a dog. Yeah, we were thinking about a dog, but we're... So furry children. Yeah, furry children. <laughs> we would want to treat the dog right and be home all the time for them. And it's just like a lot that we have to commit to. Yeah. One day. And of course, I was waiting for this question to be asked. Who is the bottom and who is the top of the relationship? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> Next question. No, I'm just kidding. I'm glad you asked. After this ad, for the very first time in this channel's history, I'm officially sponsored. Everyone, this video has been sponsored by Surfshark VPN. Let me tell you a little bit about it. I have an IKEA shark. Surfshark is an app or browser extension that lets you place your phone or computer anywhere in the world so you can access the internet as if you're in that country. So for example, it lets you access TV shows that are aired in different countries that haven't yet aired in the United States or whatever country that you're in. I'm not sure if you guys know this TV show called Beastars, but I remember I was so obsessed with this TV show. I could not wait on Netflix to release the TV show in the United States. Beastars was aired in Netflix in Japan in October 2019. Five months before, it was aired in the US, March 2020. By using Surfshark VPN, you can place your laptop in Japan and gain access to TV shows, exclusive TV shows, before they're released in America or whatever country that you're in. But wait, there's more! It encrypts your online data for an extra layer of security to keep all your passwords, all your videos, all of your secret stashes safe. 
You know what I'm talking about. Not only that, but it uses the same level of encryption adopted by the US government. Also, one account works on an unlimited amount of devices. Go ahead and check out Surfshark, everyone. You can use my code FLUKE for 83% off plus three extra months for free. And if you don't like it, you get a 30 day money back guarantee. That's a good deal. Check out the link in the description. Visit that link to support them and support me on my channel because this is my very first sponsor and you'll be able to surf the web safely. Thank you Surfshark for sponsoring this video. And back to the question. So this has been asked every single Q&A video and um, we did answer at one video and our answer was, who is the top chef? Um, I feel like I would be the top chef because I make the best pancakes. And I usually answer the question, why choose? <laughs> I'm just gonna assume at some point after you became a furry, you told your friends. So my question is, did any of your friends reject or stop talking to you after you told them? Um, I don't think so. No, not yeah. really. I even told coworkers, my mom and a bunch of friends and they all like didn't care. Some of them even thought it was really cool. Some of them came, at furry, came to furry conventions. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, I think I got lucky. And the thing is, a lot of people are just intrigued. They're like, tell me more. Yeah, some of my friends that thought it was kind of weird. I mean, we still chat and they wouldn't be friends with me if they didn't accept me for who I am. When do you think you're gonna stop fursuiting straight away from the fandom? I don't think that's gonna happen because we, like, all of our friends are in the fandom. And it's just so cute to go to a convention and hug cute fursuits. I think I, I just go through phases. Like, a little bit more fursuiting, then less fursuiting, more fandom, less fandom. Yeah. Hope you're both doing well, and the trip to Colorado is going well. Who got into being a furry first? Uh, I think you were a furry first. Yeah, that was me. What was your favorite food growing up? Pizza rolls. Spaghetti. If you could only go to one last furry convention, what furry convention would it be and why? Ooh, that's a good question. Like of the ones we have been to or the ones we want to go to because Ooh, it's like... Probably both. I might choose Golden Leafs Con in Switzerland because I've never been to. Yeah. Like, I would be curious to experience it. I would want to experience Euro friends because we have a lot of like European friends. What would be your perfect date with one another? I would want to go to like a Michelin star restaurant and then like get super drunk and then go to our hotel and have like a nice bubbly bath and then cuddle by the fire. And then you wake up to like this amazing breakfast that they would like bring to you and then I think that's it. Yeah, I guess for me it would be like a bubbly bath, like in a huge bathtub, maybe in a hotel. And breakfast in bed or us just like watch a movie together in front of the TV. Yeah, or just watching Star Trek together because we like doing that. We sometimes like I eat pomelo and then I give you pomelo pieces and we just chill in front of the TV. Yeah. Okay, let's switch it up. I'm gonna sit on this side now. How have you two been enjoying Colorado so far? What are your favorite activities to do there? Skiing! Yeah, I think skiing was a lot of fun. Yeah, I took him skiing and he did a really good job. Yeah, I came down in an avalanche. He's moved on from, from like doing pizza skiing to like straight skiing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I think we're enjoying Colorado. We miss our old place, obviously. We like, it had a nice view, a nice, you know, it was good. It has been snowing quite a bit since we got here and I'm just very happy. Whenever I like out the window, I'm just like, ah, oh, it's snowing. How did you both cope with moving? Well, I mean, it was stressful. And then um, obviously we missed our friends from the Bay Area and we're making new friends in this area. And then it's just us adjusting with our work, lifestyle and whatnot. Uh, maybe video games and watching TV. Yeah. Just relaxing. Have you ever thought about doing a dance routine with Tyrox? What would you guys do? Dancing pair of Fox and Husky would be cute and cool. Yeah, we have thought about it. We haven't done it yet. I can teach you something. Maybe I can teach you one of the routines that I've done before. Is that a yes? Yeah. Probably weird, but if you saw your fans writing a fan fiction about you, would you want them to stop or would you be fine with it? We've had fan fictions written about us before. With me, it's fine. It's like it's like if someone were to draw fan art of us. But as soon as like the fan fictions start getting into like some weird sexual categories, that that is what makes me uncomfortable. So as soon as you put us into like weird situations like that, I would call it off. Yeah, I haven't actually seen any of me. I've seen some of you. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> Just be mindful, you know? That's all we're asking. Question for Fluke and Tyra. How'd you guys meet? We answer this question every single Q&A. I don't know. And we give a different answer every single time. We met at the, the NASA boarding school. Yeah, we were taking our skydiving lessons in NASA boarding school and uh, I saw him while we were in the mid-air mid skydiving and I was like... Yeah, I was eating my pasta and he was... I was like, hey, you wanna go to uh, Noodles and Company after this? And he was like, what? And I was like... Cool. And then he guessed my phone number correctly and the rest is history. That's how we met. <laughs>
What struck either of you about the other when you first met them? He was, uh, I don't know, he was just really considerate. Like, other people, they would show a lot of interest in you, and then not text you, like, days afterwards. <coughs> Sorry. But this guy, he like kept texting, kept texting, kept texting. Yeah. You asked me on a date, and it was cute. Yeah. I was like, what about date? What about me? Well, it was in the first suit lounge at Purdy Confusion 2017. I thought you were cute, and I was like, oh, I wish I could date that person. Then I think at the time you still had a boyfriend, I think. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I just thought you were really cute and handsome and funny, and I just wanted to hold your paw. Thanks. Ow. Why is your nose so hard? Look, your nose is so cute when it does yeah, that. Look yeah, at that. Yeah. Ah! Ah! Oh my, your nose literally like looks k'tuk. Yeah, my nose is hard. Look. Wait, <laughs> let, let me show mine. Which one of you is most likely to secretly be a femboy? Can it be not secretly? <laughs> I want to see you as a femboy. Well, I, I wear a crop top. <laughs> oh, I th yeah, and I think I already agreed with Omnom that he would like help me style. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I wouldn't secretly be a femboy. I would. I would like to publicly be a femboy. <laughs> Are you more likely the type of person who takes holidays very seriously, or the type that does less? I think we don't. I don't take it seriously. We 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 literally flew to Vegas one year because we couldn't decide if we were gonna go to his place for Christmas or my place for Christmas, and we we're just like, you know what? We're going to Vegas. And I think I gave you like a Christmas present like two weeks before Christmas. <laughs> yeah, we we don't really take things seriously. Have you ever recognized in public a non furry space? No, I have not, and I plan to keep it that way. <laughs> I don't think I have. Yeah. Question for both. Do you have any alternate personas or characters? If yes, please, may we see them. If not, would you ever consider making one in the future? I don't have one. I have one. But out of respect for me, it's it's kind of something that I don't want to show the public because I just don't want to be in the spotlight. I just want to like be anonymous. But this one's interesting. Where would your life have been if you hadn't met Tyrox? So I guess that's geared towards me. Well, what about you? Where would your life be if you hadn't have met me? Mm, I would... Probably, I think I would probably have moved back to Switzerland by now. And I would have a dog. Uh -huh. I um, I would have probably just like gone officer for the Air Force. And I'd probably worked like a cybersecurity job or something. Mm, officer fluke. Yeah. Hopefully get stationed in Europe or something. Oh yeah, and then we would just meet in Europe. Yeah, we meet again in Europe. <laughs> I think I might start wrapping up pretty soon. What's our time at? 13 minutes. Okay. What's the one video game that you will always carry in your heart and why? What's yours? I mean, one of my all-time favorites would be probably like Commander Concord's Red Alert 2. That was just a strategy game I always like to play. And if I have to go further back, it will be Pink Panther. Oh, I like that game. Yeah, Pink Panther childhood. was fun, like solving puzzles and all that. Um, uh, Final Fantasy X. Ooh. I love the soundtrack. I love the story. I love the gameplay. Have you two gotten into any new hobbies over the last two years? And would you mind showing them off, if any? Oh my goodness! I have been waiting for someone to ask this question because yes, I have gotten into a new hobby. It is these things that are in the background, not the sign. The plants. I have a green thumb. I love like seeing a new leaf unfold from my plant. And I love like look at the green you know, thumb. The, <laughs> and plants will take care of you if if you take care of them. It's just an ongoing positive relationship, you know. I just really like plants. That's my that's my hobby that I picked up over COVID. <laughs> and I mean, I did a little bit of baking, so bake some bread. Oh yeah, he likes making bread. But I have to do more. I haven't done one in a while. <laughs> one night of passion with a fictional furry. <laughs> oh. Oh. Incineroar. Um. That's the film that you most enjoyed came out in 2021. Didn't Dune come out in 2021? Yeah, yeah, we love Dune. We love the soundtrack, the atmosphere, the story. It's just like, it's an epic movie. We're really looking forward to the next Dune coming out. Do y'all play any co-op games together? If you do, which one is your favorite? We do play quite a few co-op games. We're always looking for good co-op games because we love playing video games together. What is our latest game that we played together? Well, our latest game would be Overwatch, I think. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, but we like the slow paced kind of building games. We love Satisfactory. That's probably my favorite. We love Anno 1800. Yeah, I love that too. We've even played like some other games like Command & Conquer, Age of Empires, and then other games like Super Mario Party, Jackbox games, and what was the other one? Smash, Super Mario Smash. Or um, uh, Gang Beasts. Golfing with friends, Gang Beasts. Yeah, a lot of games together. We like we love playing games together. Anyways, thank you guys for tuning in. That this is my boyfriend Tyrox. Go check him out in the description. He's here. Yeah, this is my boyfriend. 
You yeah. should like and subscribe him. Don't leave any angry comments. This video is sponsored by Surfshark. Go ahead and check them out in the description. So thanks to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. And yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure to leave a little like on the video and make sure to subscribe if you want to see more stuff that we do. Bye bye. Yeah.